um, cult, Cata Cold War Challenge. And so today we're going to focus on uh, nothing. Yeah, let's just start. Alright, so links of a missing array. You get an array of arrays. Okay. Uh, if you sort an array by their length, you will see that their length value is consecutive, but one array is missing. For example, one, two, oh, bracket one, two, four, five, one, 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 five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's missing array number three. Okay. If the array erase no, then the message returns zero. When the array is no or empty, the message should return zero too. There will also always be a missing element. This length will be always between given arrays. My codename, please don't forget to vote. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Okay. I'm, I wonder, I have no way it does not return. Okay, so it need to return value. All right, let's take a look. So, um, so I'm going to assume uh, something. So, like each array only. So, um, there only will be one array that have a length. So there will be no two arrays in a given big array have two same lengths. For example, this test case is like array length is two, four, one, five. So missing three, and I won't get it length of one. Say if I have a two, I won't get that. I'm going to assume that since it's not saying the direction direction part. And uh, let me zoom this in. All right, well, let's get started. Um, so. Uh, now we need to, uh, for, I go zero, uh, I listen, array of arrays, dot links, I plus plus, alright, let's do a usual, my way to doing it, take a look, hopefully we got, uh, an array out, Good. So now I think I need a number to keep track. So let's just say var lengths. Uh, so uh, probably need to do as a right. So so for var length. Okay. So um. So array of arrays i the links so you can do go ahead and push this uh, I hope it's not a restricted keyword because that's just going to be a barren thing since I have to make a lesson on that a uh, tutorial on restricted keyword Hopefully it's not restricted. And got nothing. Let me try to change links of array. Links of It's not really a great comment to name your variable that long, but we'll see. Okay, so we get Empty bracket, which means we do have some issue. So write a she's just parenthesis, not square bracket. Alright, good. 
So this is a length of a ray. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so technically now we need to find which thing is missing. So, uh, which length is missing? So, how should we do this? So now I can find a max value. So we should be able to identify max value. So the reason we need max value, because then we can loop through everything, see if the value and if are missing. So how do we find max value? Well, well, well. So we need this. We can always assume it's at the end, because if it's a random test case, it will not always be the case. Let's see, is there a... <clears throat> oh, so we do have a mass function. We don't have a mass function, good. Okay. okay, yeah, I think we should do a lesson of mass. Yeah, we should do a let's say a mass. Uh, I actually don't know that, but I know. So we can say get array max let's just say given let's just say length uh let's go wreck this again. Let's say length of array. This so this saved me a lot of time. All right, so now I have a max value. Uh, let's go ahead and assign it. Uh, remove this parenthesis. Remove the semicolon. All right. So now what do we need to do is I can run a loop for let i go zero i less uh, max val i plus plus all right so now um uh, okay. If the array of array is no should return what does it return to then? Oh shoot, I click on run button. Okay. It's auto saved. Okay, what do we need to do now? So for All 
Alright, so now we need to find the missing value. So now, technically now, I know which value is... Uh... So now we... I, I think I'm gonna create two arrays. I want to create two arrays. Yeah. So I want to create two arrays to keep in track on the length of array. Uh, So how can we do that? So for I Okay, so if we have a for loop set up then I can check using some if condition somehow. If um Find how to check here is in a uh, what's that uh, array JavaScript. Include. Okay, let's take a look. How can we use include? Links of array. Include. You know what? Let's do this. Include i. This equals true. Then let's just continue. Uh, else. Let's just return. Okay, so you want this to be able to work. It's not a function. That includes, it is includes. Hey, grammar. Okay, so yeah, that's how, how I, we actually do it. Um, Okay, now we just need to figure out, hmm, so we need to figure out, um, this, let me read the instruction again. Do some simple checking. I don't know why this actually give you need a number, but yeah. So if I add a condition here, if array of arrays. Actually, let me console the log. Console the log. Yes. So I can see what is empty array. So now I'll return anything yet.
to check M tier. Oh, yeah, the lengths. I'm so stupid. Um, yeah. The length is equal to zero. So, if just go to return zero. We're missing rounds, so I didn't use this variable. And okay, let's take a look. Hmm. So still get pushed for some reason. Uh, for... That's mean the length is not Okay, this is um how to play how to track is it an empty array? I'm not sure why that why well, this is not working because I should be able to use dot links. <sighs> yeah, so let's go ahead and console to log this also. Okay, two four one five. Oh, this doesn't have a lock. Okay. Yeah, or In turn zero immediately. I just say not working. Okay, so cannot read property of links. Equals equals undefined. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it should be checked for undefined. Instead, let's go ahead and attempt. Hopefully, it can pass. We didn't pass. Okay. Okay, so expected for Yeah. Yeah, so we need to find the minimum value also. So var min val equals good. All right, min. Uh, length of array so I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same thing 
except it says min. So for i equals min val. And what's your problem? Okay, so it has more tests, but still failed some. Okay. So wrong for one, one, two, one, two, empty, expected zero. So. Yep, probably we need to put it in. Expected the zero instead. But undefined. Okay. Okay, so what's wrong? Okay, so that means it passed this test. Oh, I got links of missing array. You should Okay. Let's... Okay, what's wrong here? How oh, it's working when it's outside of the loop? That's weird. So weird. The key problem is why does this not return in zero like immediately? Expected zero, instead got undefined. Because it's not even able to loop through the loop. Okay. Let's see, can we solve this issue? But do a double check. Okay, so we have an error. Cannot read property zero of no. Okay. 
Okay. So. Hmm. You know what? Let me stop this video right now because it's quite a long time, and uh, let me think about what's wrong here. So I can figure out. So this is going to be part one of length of missing array. I didn't saw it going to be that difficult, but yeah. Let me stop here and thank you for watching length of missing array part one.